hello viewers welcome to core for any if you here new hit subscribe buttons and notification bell so you can never miss any our incredible content i get many comments of the how to download this source codes and run in our systems need to explain in details first of all you need to go inside the githubs and to find out here the code for any and also need to follow these channels and to get this here the gets every day we need to update this uh, source now today we need to explain here the online glossary shop apps download here the notes source code files so need to online glossary shop apps runs inside the local systems we need to explain in details first of all we need to download here the online glossary shops app backend api node js we need to click on this link and to open this source and now need to click on codes and to downloads buttons we need to press this and to download this source codes and to get this here and also need to click on back here and to click on and to also download here this app and to download done now need to how can run first of all we need to open this here inside the download folders and to click on here find out here the names as a node js backend api need to click here and to unzip this codes now we need to open here the new instance of the visual coders we need to open here the new window and now we need to remove here the mains and to set here short this names node and now we need to drag and drop here like this set here here make shorts here create here the one folders go helpers and to need this here the crash lock folders need to create create here the new folders and to if you any crash generating inside the running this node servers then we to save inside this here the all crash logs inside this folders make sure first of all we need to create this folders then afterwards we need to go inside the configurations and we need to create this database files copy here this database names and now we need to open here the our local host in my sqls now we need to create here the database glossary apps now like this creating and now need to import these files need to import here and to choice these files now need to go download folders and to import here the glossary my sql files need to open here and to import this all data and this is the structures are the importings and now need to go here and to see this here the data address and to get this here the all data are the getting here like this then after no needs anything and check this here the both names are the same otherwise need to get database connection is not as database then after you need to here install here the node library you need to need to write down here the commands npa npms installs commands need to runs and to installing this here the all library and to creating here the node module folders you must install make sure you need to node versions you need to check here node minus v if you like this get here the versions and to first of all install the node js then after run here the npm installs and then after you need to calling this here the node app like this and to run this servers and have to running this here the api now need to imports here the postman collections how can import this postman collections need this files and to open here the first of all the postman's apps and to logins and then after the import this files are the possible now we need to open here the postman's and now need to import here the this postman collections need to drag and drop this files need to open first of all the folders here and to select here the postman collections files need to get here and to paste this here and like this we need to get this collections now we need to get this here check any one api we need to because need to run here and to click on and to get this here the response and to get this here the access tokens now we need to copy api we need to need here the access token that need to put this here the headers inside the access tokens and then after runs after gets here the data if you not give this here the valid tokens then to return here the on authorized access need to get this here the return here this message that's when it to always check this here logins after need to change this here the tokens after all api are the working every api we need to change this here the access tokens letter saps and to how to connect this api 
set here uh, explain here now need to unzip these codes now and to rename this here the file names these folders like this rename here opens here the new instance of the visual coder new window and to put these folders here and to minimize this node.js code and to drag and drop here first of all need to need this here the clean this code first of all need to delete first of all the go inside the ios and to delete this here the port log files you need to delete then after you need to go inside the pop space logs files also need to delete here in this source course and also need to change this here the port files and need to uncomment here these versions because need to now xcode are the need here the minimum version ios versions means that you need to change this here after otherwise not working this ios app and to save this here then after you need to go terminals and to write down here the flutter clean commands always need to run after any downloads any source codes like this clean commands are the runs and then after you need to calling this here the flutters pops get commands need to run here and to installing here the all library and to fix this here the issue outdated so need to copy here and to set this here and to update here the all packages we need to need this here and to call this here the major updates version need to click once if you get like this errors then to fix this here the like this library need to upgrades then after you need to run here the ios simulators and to run these apps now need to click here and to go inside the main files and also make sure here the this api base urls ios working in local host are the working but android not working in the local host directly like this ports how can set change this ports need to explain here first of all so need to open here node.js folders and to go inside apps and to set this here the change this ports if you set here the like three then also need to change this here the three and if you use here the ip address you make sure you need to export your current ip address your systems need to control zs and to reset this ports because need to now this api runs here the three thousands one ports need to running inside the local systems in node.js now running these apps and to updating here the packages and to installing these libs now app is running and to get this here the play screens and now to get starts and click on the sign in with emails and to give this here the already defines in at the debug logs that's when to putting this here the value need to how can remove this value need to go find out here the view models and login screen and to remove this here the these lines if you debug then to put like these conditions to click on logins and to login are the workings and to get this here the related to all informations and all api are the working here like this need to get this here the data and to node.js run this application source if you like this video please give the thumbs up if you new user so please subscribe my channels and press the notification bell icon you can get every new video notifications and awesome content if you have any questions so please write down the comment sections i will help you and sort out your issue everyone have a nice day goodbye and take care